Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we're rounding up all the Rainbow Six News over the last two weeks and of course there hasn't been that much. We got patch 1.2 for PC only. This is something we've been doing for a long time now which is this patch gets skipped on consoles and instead the bug fixes come with 0.3 which is the mid-season patch. So I think it's super unfortunate that this happens every single season now where this one patch just doesn't make it to consoles. I guess there is a reason, but it's very, very annoying. Now, the next patch should be point three, which will be the mid-season balancing. More than likely, that will hit the test server this week. But of course, there's no sure bet on that. It could end up happening next week. But we have had a teaser of something that's coming with the next patch. And it's nothing particularly exciting, but it's the collisions that are used for like throwing a frag grenade or a flashbang in like a window or stuff like that. And you may throw it in, but it hits like the window frame and you're, you may get very annoyed that your frag ends up landing outside. Well, they're changing how the collision is going to work. There's two different types of collision. There is the high res and the low res. Now, and this is mostly evident on say a staircase where the collision path for the low res is just a straight line. And of course the high res is actually steps. And it's the same thing with the window here. And the reason they don't use the high res on the windows is because when you throw something in, you might get a really odd bounce because you've got all those intricate parts of a window and your frag grenade or whatever might hit something and come flying right back at you or something like that. Whereas the low res one is slightly bigger than what you actually see. So sometimes you accidentally hit the window frame and it bounces out. This is going to be tweaking that somehow. So... Yeah, you know, again, it's not exactly an exciting thing, but it's the first bit of news on the 0.3 patch. And then the last thing we'll talk about is the new cosmetic bundles for Sledge and Smoke, which do a crossover with Rick and Morty. Now, this is an official crossover with Adult Swim. Now, the bundles are expensive. And I'm not surprised to see that because when they first like put out the teacher trailer and the you know Twitter posts beforehand, the day before, there was no mention of price whatsoever. And it's like when you go into a store and there's no price tags, usually it means stuff's expensive. And undoubtedly the reason for that is that Adult Swim is going to be in a cut off the profits, you know, a cut of the sales. So that could be anywhere up to like 50% because they're using their IP. So there's going to be a lot of money going from that over to Adult Swim. So these things are really expensive. Now the great thing for me is the fact that these cosmetics will be able to be used with elites in the future. So Pickle Rick doing the elite animation for Smoke, I cannot wait to see that. That is going to be so good. And the developers have also said that this is not the end of these crossovers. Now they didn't specifically say there's going to be more with Rick and Morty, but I assume there probably will be, especially if it sells well. And presumably there's other ones are looking into doing crossovers with which could be all kinds of stuff like star wars and stuff like that who knows what they might pick and who was who will work with them but yeah that is it for the news for Amazon siege over the last couple of weeks which has not been much at all it's been super super quiet but hopefully next will be the mid-season balancing and hopefully that won't be too far away like i say i'm hoping that's this week but it could be next week anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time